Now on Coast TV News. Milton McDonald's ordering up final approvals, the topic for the town's planning and zoning commission tonight. Referendum number two, the Cape Henlopen School District has been studying voter feedback, what it wants to pass now. Look out drivers, getting into Ocean City might take you a bit longer. We'll show you why. And we are expecting afternoon showers for Wednesday that could be a little bit on the intense side. I have more on that coming up in a moment. This is Coast TV News at 5. These are the plans for our McDonald's that are looking for the green light tonight. Good evening. I'm Madeline Overturf. And I'm Charlie Sakaitis. Welcome to our News at 5. We begin tonight with a fast food chain looking to get over its final hurdles. Here is the spot of the proposed land where that McDonald's would be. It's off Route 16 and Union Street. The proposed McDonald's would go at the front of the shopping center that if you're familiar with Milton as the Food Lion, the Family Dollar. Engineers representing McDonald's are looking for that final site plan approval for that proposed spot. And as you may know, it's been in the works for years now. Joining us live in Milton is Coast TV News reporter Charles Reinert. Charles, you're at the spot where McDonald's could go. Maddie, you can see this lot behind me here is a whole lot of nothing right now, but McDonald's is looking to take one step closer to raising its golden arches right here, here in the town of Milton. Now, this particular McDonald's location has been the subject of a lot of discussion, debate, and opinions for the past couple of years now. The developers have been sent back to the drawing board multiple times for the town's planning and zoning commission and are hoping to get the final site plans approved tonight at their meeting. Now, people here in town have had a lot of opinions on the addition of McDonald's burgers and fries here in the town of Milton, with some thinking it would bring a massive headache in traffic and others feeling it doesn't add anything to town to Milton's more antique feel. But others have said that they feel Milton needs a fast food option like a McDonald's, for example. Now, this meeting is tonight at 630. And if the commission gives this McDonald's, give these site plans their thumbs up, the developers will then have to go in front of the towns of the town council and get their seal of approval. I'm Charles Reinhardt in Milton tonight. Coast TV News. Thank you, Charles, and this is going to bring us right into our Coast TV poll. Since this has been controversial, it's a good one. We want to know what's your stance on Milton McDonald's. Let's take a look at the results. So far, 75% of people oppose the idea. Oh, now 78. It's changing as we view it, but this is the first time we've ran the poll, Charlie. And this could change all night long. If you haven't voted yet, it's easy to do. Go to CoastTV.com or you can just pull out your phone, use our handy mobile app. You might have seen some extra traffic going into Ocean City lately. Pothole repairs are ongoing, and MDOT says they are going to require some lane closures. At least one local we caught up with thinks that Route 90 repairs, they're a good thing. Anytime we can get the State Highway Administration to uh, go ahead and spend a little money on the town, definitely repairs we need to have happen. MDOT says that the potholes will be completely repaired by April 17th, at 3 p.m. at the latest. Do you drive in Fenwick Island? Well, pay attention to this then. Residential parking permits, you can pick yours up now. The town says property owners only get one blue parking permit with two street parking tags. Bring your photo ID to pick up your permit at the Fenwick Island Police Department. It's referendum round two. The Cape Henlopen School District revealed new details today on what exactly they're asking taxpayers to fund this time without a pool. No pool. Live in Milton is Coast TV News anchor Mallory Metzner. Mallory, another of the district selling points on the new referendum, it's not going to cost taxpayers quite as much. Charlie, I'm at Mariner Middle School, one of the polling locations where a majority of voters shot down Cape's first attempt at raising taxes to pay for big projects and security expenses. This time there is no pool for the next referendum, but it still calls for buying about 102 acres off Cedar Grove Road, a new district office and a transportation facility. The district wants to raise over $42 million for capital projects and over $4.5 million for 
current operating expenses. The total tax impact is about 39 cents per $100 of assessed property value, which the district says equates to $109 per year for the average homeowner and then decreases after one year. Superintendent Bob Volton says 90% of the money generated is for safety and security expenses, as well as to pay school staff salaries and energy costs. You know, obviously with uh, safety and security, we've made a lot of improvements. Uh, we'd hate to kind of cut back on those improvements, but that's a possibility. Um, so for the most part, just kind of keeping things moving and keeping things going and more about staff. We want to make sure that we, we have the lowest class size as possible. We have every staff we qualify for and then some um, because we're proud. of. Coming up on Coast TV News at 6, you'll hear from taxpayers both for and against the referendum. And if you live in the district, we'll tell you where you can cast your ballot on May 21st. I'm Mallory Metzner, live in Milton, Coast TV News. Thank you, Mallory. Let's take a live look right now outside into Lewis. Almost too nice of a day to be inside. I think we all need to be on that beach right now. Just kidding. We're working. Let's check in with our first alert, Chief Meteorologist Paul Williams with a look at our forecast. You know, <laughs> don't tempt me. <laughs> that's, all I'm, that's all I'm gonna say. It's been that beautiful for today. Uh, if we take a look courtesy of our Tyndall camera, in Laurel, and we are expecting with the temperatures to fall from the 70s into the 60s by 7 o'clock, and then we'll slightly sashay into the 50s, actually, by the time we get to 9 o'clock under mostly clear skies. We have clear conditions for us, actually, with radar, and we have high pressures in control of it, so we, you see a couple of dots of green. I mean, we're talking about maybe a sprinkle for about 30 seconds. Other than that, we're looking pretty clear, um, and we're not worried about things coming back to haunt us like it did yesterday. We will be watching out for some stormy weather as we go into Wednesday afternoon. We're going to talk about that because lunchtime plans need to include an umbrella, Charlie. No, we'll keep an eye on that, Paul. Thank you. But we've all seen it when we've stepped outside, and if you're one of the afflicted, you've felt it as well. Pollen dusting Delmarva, turning cars shades of green and yellow. The pollen has even formed a film on local ponds. This pollen is being created by trees, which are trying to reproduce. Delmarva right now is in the heart of tree pollen season, and that is causing problems for people here all along the coast. My car is different today. It was covered with green, but usually um, I'll know about three or four in the morning that it does come in through the vents in the house. Um, and even with those vents, I still get um, I still get reactions to the to the pollen with headaches and stuff. It's like a horror story coming in through the vents. We're going to have a deeper dive into why we're seeing all of this pollen on Coast TV News at 6. Israel's war cabinet, it's working to determine next steps after Iran's aerial assault that was shot down by Israel, the U.S., and other allies. Meanwhile, on Capitol Hill, the foreign aid package that has languished in the House is now being considered as a series of separate bills on funding for Israel, Ukraine, and Taiwan. With the response to Iran's weekend attack likely imminent, the world is waiting to see how far Israel will go. We don't want to see this escalate, but we also uh, support Israel's right to defend itself. The Israeli war cabinet meeting for the third straight day weighing its options. The Biden administration has been urging restraint and four U.S. officials tell NBC News they expect a limited Israeli response, most likely involving strikes against Iranian forces and Iranian-backed proxies outside of Iran. Iran's unprecedented and unsuccessful missile and drone attacks against Israel came in response to a strike on the Iranian embassy compound in Syria. Iran warning it would mount an immediate and severe response to any further Israeli action. This is the moment for everybody to sit down and say we had a punch and a counterpunch. Let's not turn this into a regional war. Congress is now considering its next foreign aid funding steps as House Speaker Mike Johnson outlines his plans to split military aid for Israel, Ukraine and Taiwan into separate bills with a fourth piece of legislation tying together other Republican national security priorities. The Senate would then have to vote again. Time is of the essence. Far-right members who oppose Ukraine aid escalating their threats to kick Speaker Johnson out of his job. Uh, I am not resigning, and it is, um, it is 
in my view, an absurd notion that someone would bring a vacate motion. Johnson saying a fresh speaker fight would not be helpful for the cause or the country. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News. Governor John Carney has ordered Delaware flags to be lowered to half staff at all state facilities through sunset on Saturday. The move is to honor the late former state Senator Robert Marshall. He championed efforts to increase Delaware's minimum wage. Here you can see the Delaware flag lowered today in a statement. Governor John Carney said, quote, he was an inspiration for public servants serving 40 years in the state Senate and not once forgetting the folks he represented in Legislative Hall, end quote. Coming up, outdoor recreation on Delmarva, why one state agency wants to hear about your favorite outdoor activities. And outdoor activities for tomorrow will be just fine as long as you do them before we hit noon because here's the meteorological bump in the road that I really need to tell you about that. More on that in a moment. But first, a new report detailing the dangers that social media poses to your children. That's up next. Everyone knows us for termites and bed bugs, but don't forget we're also here for all your general pest control needs. Ants, spiders, crickets, rodents, fleas, ticks, and of course, mosquitoes. Bennett Termite is dedicated to protecting our communities from your aggravations and dangers presented by pests of all kinds. If you want to find out the Bennett difference, give us a call today. Remember Delmarva, quality isn't expensive, it's priceless. Are you tired of contractors not showing up on time or not even returning your call? And why are you still waiting for an estimate? Maybe it's because the sales consultant that they sent isn't really qualified to make a proper quote, only to find out the contractor isn't even licensed? That's why thousands of homeowners and businesses trust Delmarva's original crawl space experts. At Dry Tech, we're certified, trained, licensed, and insured. So your crawl space problem gets solved, guaranteed. Call Dry Tech today for a free assessment. Discover why Gateway Subaru is Delmarva's destination dealership, earning our customers' trust and exceeding expectations. No matter where you live, experience the Gateway difference with our no-pressure sales approach and fair, honest pricing. Plus, Gateway has more in-stock Subaru inventory to choose from than other dealers have combined. Need service fast? Our quick service lane is always ready. No appointment needed. Gateway Subaru, just minutes from the beaches in the heart of Delmarva. Higher standards. Be charmed by Lewis. Visit our unique shops and restaurants. The Brush Factory is the area's premier destination for the unique and unusual for home, garden, and you. Come support our 60-plus local merchants and artists. Discover the taste of the Mediterranean at Olive and Oats Cafe. Start your day with breakfast delights, specialty coffees, and flavorful lunches in our cozy setting. Cape May Lewis Ferry is sailing daily year-round and is ready to welcome you aboard. Gift cards and departure schedules available online at cmlf.com. Come explore. Historic Lewis. This is Coast TV News at 5. New today, the American Psychological Association released a new report, and it's calling for more to be done to protect young people from the potential dangers of social media. NBC's Emily Akeda has a close look at how social media platforms have an impact on children. This morning, the American Psychological Association demanding change from social media platforms and head-turning report detailing what it says are psychological threats to young people. The highly respected group writing in part, platforms built for adults are not inherently suitable for youth. Youth require special protection. The APA calling out features like endless scrolling, likes and follower counts, and push notifications that it says capitalizes on developing brains that are more sensitive to impulses, social feedback, and distraction. According to a recent survey noted by the group, more than half of teens reported at least one symptom of clinical dependency on social media, something families described in today's deep dive into the impacts of screen time last fall. It can be really addicting. They can begin to really hinder your life more than they do help it. Instead of liking yourself, it's how much everybody likes you. The report also noting how the freedom to scroll around the clock has been cited as the predominant reason why adolescents are getting less than the recommended amount of sleep. It comes nearly a year after the U.S. Surgeon General issued a landmark health advisory on social media use in adolescents. We see rates of depression and anxiety and suicide and loneliness going up among young people. 
And I'm concerned that social media is an important driver of that youth mental health crisis. Uh, this is the defining public health issue of our time. The APA writing, there's been few meaningful changes since then, but some social media companies disagree, including Meta, the company behind Facebook and Instagram, which recently launched nighttime nudges to push young people to close the apps and now also allows parents to schedule breaks for their kids on the platforms. Without laying out specific changes, the APA says there must be a comprehensive approach to fully address the dangers of an increasingly screen-reliant world. We could see a brief but intense round of rain on Wednesday. It could help sweep out some of this pollen. By the way, trees are at a high level, weeds at a low, and grass at a medium level. Your full forecast, and we're going to talk about that lunchtime shower or two in a moment. Show your home some springtime love during Johnny Janosik's Spring Home Sale. Refresh your home with Delaware's guaranteed lowest prices, plus instant discounts up to $1,000. Don't miss the Spring Home Sale going on now at Johnny Janosik. It was an older porch with concrete. There were stains on the floor. And my wife, who researches everything, decided to look at pinnacle concrete coatings. They explained the entire process, and it was right on track. They got it done in, in a day, and things were bright and clean. Everybody seemed to appreciate it all that much more. The quality is high-end, and the lifetime warranty can't be beat. I would more than say yes, you ought to recommend them. They were right on time. They explained it clearly. They worked with our schedule. They got it done, and it is perfect. Six billion dollars. The total economy of a small country. Now a cash grab for fat cat Delaware lawyers. Because Chancellor Kathleen McCormick is doing their bidding. She stopped a legally binding contract in order to grant them billions in legal fees. That's a $300,000 an hour cash grab for McCormick's future bosses, while everyday Delawareans barely scrape by. What does McCormick have to say about these Delaware fat cat lawyers? We've always had each other's backs. From empty nester to first home, Accessible Home Builders does it all. It was great working with Scott at Accessible Builders. He called us every Monday and asked us to come over to the house at each step of the way during the construction of our home. It was pretty unique working with Scott because not only is he the owner, but he was working in here hands-on with his employees and really just trying to make our vision come to life. Design your dream home with Accessible Home Builders. Let Johnny Janosik help make your outdoor space more relaxing and enjoyable. Shop now and find huge savings on all outdoor furniture and accessories. Plus, take advantage of our great financing options. For a limited time only at Johnny Janosik. At Vernon Powell, new spring sandals are in and toes are out. Brooks and Hoka are in and out. Fun athletic looks are definitely in. Comfort is in across the board. From Dansko, Bionic, and Ufos to Birkenstock, Olakai, and Hey Dude, Fish Hippie is in. Performance apparel is out on the water, on the beach, and on the job. With performance gear from Yeti and Bog, kids should always be out because Skechers, Slip-Ins, and New Balance are in. Plus, Kendra Scott is now available at Vernon Powell. The irony about today's warm weather is that we are actually 10 to 15 degrees cooler now than we were yesterday. But remember, yesterday we tied a record high. Today we're just warmer than usual, but it was still kind of neat anyway, right? Our Hershey's exterior camera highlighting just what a high pressure dominated skyline looked like. Absolutely clear and gorgeous. But the wind's out of the southwest at 11 miles per hour. Now we're at about 60 now. We'll drop down to 56 by 8 and 9 o'clock under mostly clear skies. Our live radar is clear. No problems. I widened the scope to show you what's happening. Here's that dominant high pressure system that we were talking about. And on this side of the equator, high pressure typically means beautiful, clear, sunny weather. We have a little disturbance happening happening over in portions of West Virginia and when it's sandwiched between a stationary boundary, this area of instability, which is a fast mover, is going to slide over in our direction by lunchtime tomorrow. I want you to keep that in mind. Lunchtime tomorrow showers. No, we're looking at the winds coming out of the south, about 14 mile per hour gusts, but you know, tolerable. We had a high of 75, not a record of 89, but well above 67, which is the norm. And we were in the 70s just about everywhere with the one exception in Wallops Island where we had a high of 66 degrees. We are currently at 76 in Redden as well as Georgetown and 70 degrees currently in Salisbury. But look at how much cooler we are. Like I said, 10 
12 degrees cooler than we were just yesterday, although it doesn't feel cold outside, obviously. Once again, yesterday was crazy warm, and we tied that record high, which was actually set in 1960, by the way. Sunrise Yoga Cast. Listen, before 10 o'clock, the rain's not a problem, folks. We're going to warm into the 60s nicely, and the winds are going to trickle out of the south throughout the morning. And as you take a look, we're looking forward to continue to stay in the 60s, for example, in our immediate area, as you travel over towards the west into the 60s and low 70s. And then to our south, we're staying in the 60s and low 70s as well. It's the lunchtime hour. In fact, to be more exact, 2 o'clock. Look at the scattered showers that will begin to develop. We're looking for this plume to the north by 2.30 and some scattered showers in Bethany Beach. Then we clear out. We may get a sprinkle, a resurgent sprinkle by 7 o'clock in Broadkill Beach, and that's pretty much it. I'm not calling for a severe weather day unless things just get crazy in the afternoon, which is a possibility. Now, we take a look at our most southern view, and this latest run has actually dialed it back tremendously at 2.30, but we're still expecting rain to arrive at 2.30. But a passing shower or two, just kind of watch out for it because it's in the afternoon and it's developing. So we're looking for 49 for tonight, then 69 for tomorrow, and then we're looking for 70 by the time we get to Thursday. And finally, here's a look at your Paul Davis Restoration Home Remodeling Extended Forecast. A little rain on Wednesday, and we'll get another, you know, slice of cheddar by the time we get to Saturday. Cheddar, of course, an allegory for rain. Saturday. All right, Paul, thank you very much. I've worked with you a long time. I've never heard you say cheddar when it comes to rain. Well, happening now, you can share ideas about what you think the future of outdoor rec should look like in Maryland. The Department of Resources has a survey. You can comment on the types of outdoor activities you enjoy. The agency says the feedback will help the state understand sort of outdoor habits and also your preferences, all that to better improve outdoor experiences in Maryland. Still ahead, I don't have any allegories, but we are going to tell you how you can make your voice heard about what the future of Berlin could look like. Stay tuned on Coast TV News at 5. From gentle ocean breezes to small country towns, Sussex County has it all. That's why you need a real estate company that is familiar with it all. Man & Sons offers decades of experience throughout Sussex County. Whether it's helping you purchase your forever home or find the perfect vacation rental at the beach. Trust our experience. Trust Man & Sons. For over 30 years, the difference is clear. Man & Sons Real Estate. This weather's brought to you by Man & Sons Real Estate. Our soldiers are heroes who protect our country. But when they come home, it's up to us to help our heroes. Now, during FH First Spring Into Giving campaign, for every $29 cooling system tune-up we perform, we'll donate that amount directly to Wounded Warrior Project. FH Fur Plumbing, Heating, Air Conditioning, and Electrical. Call 877-CALL-FUR or visit fhfur.com to schedule your $29 cooling system tune-up. And use hashtag Spring Into Giving to share how you're giving back. For decades, John B. Parsons has been a sanctuary tailored to the needs of its residents. We are excited to now bring the same award-winning care to your home with Harrison Health at Home. Our family of experienced caregivers can help you maintain your independence in the comfort of your own home. Or following an incident, our Bridge to Home program can help you with a temporary assisted living stay and personalized transition plan to get you back home. Harrison Senior Living, our family taking care of yours for 50 years. It's now or never. Two dead bodies in the name of free speech. Nobody needs to die today. This girl was targeted. Are you coming to get my right daughter? When you're undercover, one mistake and it's all over. Can I go home now? That's not how this works. Law and Order Thursday on NBC and Peacock. You may think your home's crawl space is okay, but chances are, it's not. Mold, pests, and rotting beams can all cause problems for your home and for your family. The good news is, your home's crawl space problems can be fixed permanently, so you and your family can rest easy. Because crawl space problems won't get better with time, but they will get better with us. Call Dry Zone today for your free estimate. Brought to you by Dry Zone, your local crawl space experts. There's one more chance coming up to share your thoughts, your ideas about what the future of Berlin could look like. 
Tomorrow, Berlin locals can participate in something called a community comment session. And this is where people can share their comments on the town's draft strategic plan that was developed with Salisbury University. It's happening at 6 p.m. at St. Paul United Methodist Church. Over in Felton, drivers can expect some lane closures next week on Route 15 near Barrett's Chapel Road and Plymouth Road. That's due to construction for an all-way stop sign. Work begins Thursday. Delvat says closures will last until the end of May. According to government data, Americans are saving less these days. The personal savings rate fell to 3.6% in February, the lowest level in more than a year. Now, as to why people are saving less, there could be several factors. It could just be a continuation of a long-term trend. Historically, Americans tend to save less after a recession. The strong job market also gave people more money to shell out, resulting in what economists call a, quote, structurally lower savings rate. Apple saw a 10% drop in iPhone sales last quarter. Now, it's due in large part to slumping sales in China. As the largest market behind the U.S., China is important to Apple. The company offers discounts there to help boost sales. But it hasn't been enough to counter various factors driving down Chinese sales in recent months. This weekend, join the Delmarva Sports Network at the Delaware State Fairgrounds for the DSN Outdoor Expo, both indoor and outdoor vendors. They're going to be on site showcasing everything outdoor. Plus, there will be demonstrations, prizes, food, trucks, classic cars, live wrestling. I'll be there at part of it. The DSN Outdoor Expo runs April 19th through the 20th. Coast TV News at 5. We'll be right back. Pilot. It can ruin your screen ports and your furniture. You can clean it, but you'll be cleaning it a lot. With the porch protection system, you can use your screen ports year-round, pollen-free. The PPS system is marine grade and custom made just for your porch. We provide quick turnaround, quick installation, and 20 fabric colors to choose from. So call us today for a free estimate so you can start enjoying your screen ports year-round, no matter the weather. Call or visit porchprotection.com for your free quote. Show your home some springtime love during Johnny Janosik's Spring Home Sale. Refresh your home with Delaware's guaranteed lowest prices. Plus, instant discounts up to $1,000 and save even more with special financing. Shop our huge selection of all the top brands and take advantage of our complimentary design services. Find quality, selection, and value and make your home bloom with beauty. Don't miss the Spring Home Sale. Going on now, only at Johnny Janosik. It's the perfect time to upgrade your vehicle at IG Burton Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram. Enjoy remarkable savings with discounts of up to $10,000 off Ram trucks or over $11,000 off Grand Cherokees or save up to $9,600 off Dodge Chargers. Explore enticing lease options across our entire inventory featuring the Wrangler Compass and the Dodge Hornet all-wheel drive. Discover more at IGBurton.com or drop by any IG Burton Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram location today in Melford, Smyrna, Newark, or Berlin. Nobody beats a Burton deal. Nobody. Is your crawl space wet and has a bad odor? Did you know the air you breathe in your home starts in your crawl space? Dark, damp spaces breed mold and mildew, which can be linked to allergies and asthma. Our dry time crawl space encapsulation will solve your moisture problems for good. Enjoy a drier, healthier, and more energy efficient home thanks to our unique understanding and experience of successful treating and eliminating crawl space moisture. Remember Delmarva, quality isn't expensive, it's priceless. Are you struggling to lose weight? Do you want to live a healthier and more empowered life? Whether it's been a lifelong struggle or you're new to weight loss, we can help you get the results you're looking for. At Tidal Health, we offer a comprehensive and customized approach to weight loss that includes surgical and medical options. Our team of dedicated professionals is committed to making sure you have the knowledge and support to reach your goals and get on the path to wellness. To learn how you can reach your goal weight, visit TidalHealth.org slash lose weight today. Take a look at how gorgeous it is outside, courtesy of our Irish Eyes camera. We'll drop from 62 at 7 o'clock down to 58 degrees and clear skies at 9. And we are clear for right now. We're going to stay that way even when we zoom in. Hey, can't even pick up a sprinkle or two. By the way, if you want the weather simply by phone call, call our weather alert line at 443-880-9100. Your forecast just a call away. Sponsored by Baird, Mandalas, Brockstead, and Federico. Here's a look at your exclusive Paul Davis Restoration Home Remodeling 10-day forecast. Rain for Wednesday, but listen, this is lunchtime rain, and the latest model backed off, but 
The next model that'll run will probably enhance a little bit, so let's watch out for lunchtime rain. We're clear Thursday, cloudy Friday, another round of rain on Saturday, but at least Sunday's looking pretty good as well. All right, Paul, thank you, and thanks for joining us here for Coast TV News at 5. For more news, uh, more local weather, download our Coast TV News app. Inside Edition is up next. And we'll see you later tonight for Coast TV News at 6. Have a great evening.